a month. Let's talk about that. Doctor. Okay. Yeah, and, and I think we were picking up from the last segment by saying how it is relevant and very important for us to have such a celebration, not only for African Americans, but for all Americans and even people that are coming to the shores and that's migrating from other countries even today. Because of that unique experience of enslavement here that went on for over 200 and some 44 years mm -hmm. and how the government at that time with increasing laws of 1776, the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution mm -hmm. left this group of people out who had been here for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. So when we think of that document that said life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, it didn't really, it was not inclusive of people of African descent. And more, when they created laws, they created laws that left at people of African descent out. So if you just recall and reflect on the Civil War, mm -hmm. that war was pretty much for three reasons, although there were many more, but one mm -hmm. was to maintain an economic machinery mm -hmm. of people of, Af of, of African descent for free, mm -hmm. to maintain that machinery, um, to, to maintain a culture here within the South as it was, mm -hmm. and to keep people of African descent enslaved. So there were a lot of other reasons people could argue, and if we had a big um, debate here going on, people could come up with other reasons. Mm -hmm. But this, those are three of the major reasons why. Mm -hmm. And then after that, people just didn't open their arms up with the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment, mm -hmm. which everyone should know the 13th Amendment abolished slavery. Mm -hmm. And then if you, if it was abolished, you have to be a citizen. The 14th gave citizenship, right? And the 15th Amendment, and we're talking about 1866, they gave the right to vote. To vote. Mm -hmm. And we're still dealing with voting rights issues today. Voting and suppression. That's right, mm -hmm. voting suppression today. Mm -hmm. And when you think about Dr. King, since we're coming up on the celebration of his, his birthday in recognition of the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he was saying in the 60s, we st 100 years later, we still do not have the right to vote. Mm -hmm. So from that time, we moved into Jim Crow laws that were just something that was created to, to still segregate people of African descent. And Dr. Du Bois talked about the demarcations of segregation that are still very present in our society today. So when we see these demarcations, you know, institutions such as HBCUs or railroad tracks in mm -hmm. cities throughout the South, mm -hmm. that predominantly one person, one group of ethnic group live on one side and the others live on the other. Now with gentrification, people are being pushed out and housing uh, have certainly changed, but mm -hmm. still very much present within our society today. So with these laws, it is very important for everyone to understand that history. Mm -hmm. Now, from a sociological and cultural standpoint, one of the sad parts about it is that if we do not understand the history, not only does that ethnic group, meaning African Americans and other ethnic groups, not understand why there is still such a need today for inclusiveness or policies, rules and regulations, such as affirmative action that are still needed today, mm -hmm. it was needed in the past because while things might appear to be a lot better now, there's still no fairness, still not 100% what, they, 100 should what mm -hmm. they should be of mm -hmm. fairness within our society. Mm -hmm. One that I would like to bring up is that if you look at our, something you would think as far as music is concerned, that our national symphonies throughout the United States, mm -hmm. and if you went through and Google pictures, you would not see people of African descent in any of the string section. It's only about 1.8% of someone that's even in the orchestras. So we have these systems out there that have still prevented qualified people. We're not talking about letting someone be in that's not qualified, but not only in symphonies, but in other institutions that make up with American society mm -hmm. today. So if we don't know about the history, we'll be doomed to create some of the same past mm -hmm. mistakes that were done in the past in the present. So therefore, there is a strong need to have mm -hmm. African American history um, throughout not only the month, but mm -hmm. throughout the year for inclusiveness mm -hmm. in school systems so we can have a better society. Mm -hmm. Go on, Dr. And so I was just going to say, you know, when we think we're making footsteps um, okay. in, in, in the fourth, here we are in the 21st century mm -hmm. with a president, um, 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 Trump, that is really brought about a resurgence of past racism that was, was quite bad in the past. And you can't say that it had 
eradicated and it wasn't there anymore, but it has been a resurgence of it. People feeling justified in coming out and treating people in unequal ways and, and very harsh treatment. And, and it's very present within the society in which we live in today. You see an emergence of, of, of those same terrorist groups that were in the past with an increase in membership. Although you don't see people marching around in the white robes, they are all dressed up in a suit and tie today, mm -hmm. but acting in the same very racist ways. In the same deprivation of life, you know, it's one thing to hang somebody, That's right. kill them or shoot them, and et cetera. Yeah. But it's also another thing to starve them in, in yeah. a real sense, to put them in an economic condition yeah, in absolutely. which their lives are, are threatened. And, and yeah. so I, I agree with you. That's that right. Well, well said. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and, and so those, the, those things are very prevalent within our society mm -hmm. today. So as we have this discussion, I think it's a historical fact now, so in, in, coincidental that we're having a discussion, but this is the longest time period within our government that mm -hmm. the government has been shut down. Mm -hmm. And you have over 800,000 people that did not get a check this past mm -hmm. Friday. Whenever you look at it, you have to understand that that is hurting a lot of people. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, that it, it, it's almost incomprehensible. It, it uh, really to is. To think in terms of... Uh, I was talking, I was saying to my wife the other night that what if uh, the, our check didn't come that's this right. month or yes. whatever, and et cetera. And, and that's, a, that's a traumatic kind of situation to have that many people exposed to it over whatever yes, you see you're it right. might be. And so, I, yeah, yeah, I think, and, 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 but now what we are experiencing then, now, we've always experienced yeah, it in our past. And that's why I think you would say, that it's important for us to recall the kind of situations that we came out of in order to be able to understand where we are now. Yeah, absolutely, and you're so right. And one, un and one other interesting point um, to, 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 to um, connect with that is that given this situation, a lot of people that might be the federal level of a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and move on up into the 11, 12, mm -hmm. 30, with six figures, without getting a check, they may be able to last a little longer, but it really brings to relevance how we are still working class.